Henry VIII is remembered for being a man who had six wives throughout his life, and two of them he ordered to be executed inside the walls of the Tower of London. The notorious Tudor monarch became an infamous and brutal man, who inside of his kingdom, 70,000 people were executed inside of England. But the king had a number of other women that he slept with, and there were many who became a royal mistress. What was rather sad at the time was that many of these women who became mistresses of the king had a very little say in what happened, and they were even encouraged to take the king's bed by their husbands, fathers, and other influential members of their family. For the king to take a mistress from the Berlin family, for example, was considered a huge honour for the Berlins, which is rather bizarre in itself, but there were many other women who were rumoured mistresses of the notorious Tudor king. But what is the story of Henry VIII's mistresses? There were three confirmed mistresses of Henry VIII that we know about, but there were many more. The first was Elizabeth, or Bessie Blount, who gave the king everything he wanted in a son. Bessie Blount, as a young girl, came to the king's court as a maid of honour to Henry's first wife, Catherine of Aragon. But whilst at the royal court, she caught the eye of the English king, and then around 1514 to 1515, she became his mistress. The relationship she had with Henry VIII lasted for around eight years, and during this, she would sleep with him regularly. What is troubling is that Bessie Blount's date of birth is speculated as being between 1498 and 1502, meaning that she could have been as young as 13 when she began to become a royal mistress sleeping with the king, or as old as just 17. The relationship she had with the king lasted for a period of time which was prolonged, compared to his other affairs, which were usually short-lived or were flings. But on the 15th of June, 1519, she gave birth to Henry VIII's illegitimate son, who was named Henry Fitzroy, and was later named the Duke of Richmond and Somerset, and also the Earl of Nottingham. This son was the only illegitimate son of the Tudor King, who he acknowledged as his own, and he amazingly promoted this son heavily, and shrouded him in titles, wealth and happiness. Many historians have believed that, in fact, Fitzroy could have been con considered by Henry VIII as his successor, and Fitzroy would have been an important part of the king's life, despite his early death. It's proved that Henry VIII could create and father healthy sons and heirs, but following Fitzroy's birth, the affair ended, and Blount would then enter an arranged marriage with Gilbert Talboys. She was not involved after this in the royal court as heavily as she once was, but many believed that she was better looking than the king's second wife, Anne Boleyn. Following this affair, Henry VIII then turned his attention to his most famous mistress and the sister of his future second wife, Anne Boleyn. Mary Boleyn had recently been in France, and it was alleged that she became a mistress to the French king, Francis I, who referred to her as the English mare and as a very great whore, the most infamous of all. But when she returned to England in 1519, she became a maid of honour to Catherine of Aragon, and Mary was considered a very beautiful woman by the standards of the English and French court. But as she returned to England, she married William Carey, a wealthy and powerful courtier. However, Henry VIII was a guest at the couple's wedding, and Mary caught the king's eye. At some point along the way, Mary Boleyn became Henry VIII's mistress, and he would send for her to come to the royal apartments. Her husband had no say over this, and the king's desires and wishes needed satisfying with a woman who he found beautiful and attractive. Husbands had to just stand aside. It was rumoured that both of Mary's children, or just one of them, may have been fathered by Henry VIII. But what Henry VIII was doing was sleeping with his future wife's sister. This was the very excuse he would use for justifying his annulment and divorce with Catherine of Aragon, as Henry VIII's brother Arthur had been married to Catherine. Henry, in a sense, was a hypocrite, as he would later marry the sister of his former mistress. Mary was considered to have been more attractive than her sister, but Anne was considered more ambitious and intelligent. 
and she refused initially to take the king's bed and to not repeat the mistakes of her sister. Just sleeping with the king was very little gain for herself. Mary, interestingly, would not visit her sister and brother George when they were both imprisoned inside the Tower of London. The third confirmed mistress of Henry VIII was a woman referred to by the Imperial Ambassador Eustace Chapwee as Mistress Shelton was Margaret Madge Shelton. It's believed that one of the Shelton sisters was Henry VIII's mistress for a period of six months, which began around February of 1535, and it's believed that this was Margaret. Chapwee at court when in England said that Madge Shelton attended on Anne Boleyn when she miscarried a child, and that she was one of Anne Boleyn's closest companions. In this, Henry VIII would hunt for mistresses in his wife's ladies-in-waiting and close attendants. But more recent research has suggested that Margaret's sister Mary may have been the king's mistress instead, and was considered to have been a strong candidate for being the king's fourth wife. What also must be mentioned is that the king began a romantic relationship with three of his future wives before marrying them, and it's not known for certain if these began physically before or after the marriage. He was involved with Anne Boleyn around the time he ended his affair with Mary Boleyn, and he also was openly courting Jane Seymour whilst married to Anne Boleyn. He also courted Catherine Howard, the maid of honour of his fourth wife, Anne of Cleves, and he continued throughout his middle age to lust and look for mistresses. Even during Catherine Parr's marriage to the king, his sixth wife, it's believed the king was possibly looking for a seventh. But there were other women who were considered possibly, and alleged mistresses, to the Tudor monarch. One of these women is Jane Poppincourt, who was a French maid of honour at the royal French court of Louis XII and Francis I. She also, for twelve years, held a position at the English court as a tutor to Princess Margaret and Mary. She was appointed as a maid of honour to Catherine of Aragon, and there were rumours in 1514 that she began as a mistress of Henry's, and also that they had a brief affair, but she then wanted to return home. Some historians claim that she was no longer welcome at the English court, and she then became an attendant of Henry VIII's sister, who was about to become the Queen of France. Another rumoured mistress of the Tudor king was Anne Bassett. She was raised by the illegitimate son of Edward IV, who was Henry VIII's uncle, and she became part of Jane Seymour's household. She served the Queen, and also took part in lying in for the birth of Edward VI, but Anne, it's believed, caught the eye of Henry VIII in 1538 and 1539, and is rumoured to have been his mistress. Ambassadors believed that she would become his fourth wife, and following the death sentence of Catherine Howard, they also believed she could have been wife number six. She was prominent at court with other women and was well liked, and she later became a maid of honour to Queen Mary I. There was also Elizabeth Carey, who would be the first half-cousin of Anne Boleyn and Catherine Howard, and her brother was described as the Vicar of Hell. But she was friends with Bessie Blount, the King's mistress, and also in 1514 there were rumours that she had slept with the King, and the King over the years did give her a huge gifts, including beautiful diamonds and pearls and innumerable jewels. It's strange that he would do this for just any woman at court, and many historians have believed that Elizabeth was part of the King's close circle and shared his bed. Anne Strafford, the Countess of Huntingdon, was also linked to being a royal mistress. Throughout Henry VIII's notorious reign over England, he slept with many women and could almost have any woman that he wanted. He would move mountains and do anything he could if a woman captivated him, and his desires led him to even break from Rome to marry Anne Boleyn so that he could sleep with her. But there are many women who became royal mistresses, and who would, when the king came calling, answer his desires. Thank you for watching, and to support, please subscribe to Her Remarkable History. Thank you.